What's going on lads, Viper here, bringing you guys another tutorial, I know it's been a while, uh, if you want an explanation as to why I haven't been making tutorials, then check out the commentary I did yesterday, but it won't be yesterday for you, because this won't be going up until Monday, so, yeah, the latest video, click it, <laughs> but anyway, what I'm going to be teaching you guys today is how to use Twixter in the best possible way, with the most efficient settings, and the, uh, pretty much the smoothest, best settings I've ever used, and uh, I've been using these for the last few months I came up with them I came up with parts of it myself but I think I got some more I think I got some of it from other editors out there I can't really remember to be honest I've just been using these for like months and months on end so anyway you want to just get your clip here bring it into a comp and uh, then delete it and then make a new comp so um, you're gonna have two comps uh, so this let's just say this is your let me just rename it can't rename it there Viper rename it to main. So let's just pretend this is your montage, this is your main composition. You've got all your sexy editing stuffs in here. And this is your clip. So get your clip, got it in here, and you just want to find the part we want to twixter. So if you just find let's say this part right here. Then what we want to do is find their effect called motion tile. Motion tile. There we go. Drag it on here, and this is to prevent warping around the edges. So, output height one two five, output width one two five, and mirror the edges. Now, I would recommend you guys making this seven twenty p full screen because it's kind of hard to see these numbers over here because I'm on a thirty two inch TV right now. So, anyway, so you want to make sure mirror edges is checked, and that's basically just gonna make less warping of the edges. If I can just show you guys here. I don't think you have to do this, but you can if you want. Go to composition. My dog is barking outside. Go to width, and then you want to press multiplication 1.25. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog. I could shout at her now, telling her to shut up, but I uh, don't think it would work. She's kind of insane. Anyway, that's basically what it does. It kind of mirrors the edges and makes everything look sexy. Uh, so basically, that will just stop warping. If you go back into our main comp now, and drag in our clip, our composed clip in a composition. Uh, I will make a new tutorial on compositions if you'd like me to, because it's quite complicated and it's long. So if you'd like me to do that, then I will. So I'm not going to explain it right now. But basically, compositions, in a nutshell, not cell, in a nutshell, make it so that every effect you apply here transfers to the main comp. So I've got. Let's just find the part we want to twixter right here and I'm going to search up Twixter Pro we're getting all pro in this drag on the pro make your input frame rate your frame rate of the clip so mine's 59.94 you can check that by going to your project and up there 59.94 now you want anything above 59.94 is grand underneath that it's gonna look like shit so make sure it's 59.94 up image prep you want this to be contrast slash slash edge enhance uh, then you want to go to warping inverse make sure that's inverse with smart blend for the main BG layer settings one change this to 60 FG1 settings 60 and change the math channel to alpha now you can do the same thing with FG2 and FG3 uh, without changing the alpha channel so we just put 60 in here and 60 in there we should be good to go now you don't have to do that on like Infinity Ward engines because there's a lot less warping but uh, I just done it here because it's optional you don't have to do it if you want to save some time uh, there really won't be too much of a difference but I would recommend doing it on a game like Black Ops because there's lots of resamples so anyway that's pretty much the settings if we're gonna animate this here now to speed press page down to go down one frame or even just go for a few frames just to make it a bit more smooth and change the speed to like 1 to 5 or 1 to 8 is good I'm just going to do 1 to make it all just to showcase how smooth the settings are so you can just see how clean and my dog won't shut up you can just see how clean that is and it looks super awesome if we just make the speed a bit more put it up to 5 here you can still see just how clean everything is and like normally if you go back here to where it says 1 
you see that blood there spewing out of him you wouldn't be able to see that because it would be so warped so this just pretty much prevents a lot of warping and just makes it look sexy so anyway there guys that's pretty much the effect if you did like this tutorial if it did help you in any way please do leave a like below because it helps me a whole lot so anyway guys I will talk to you guys later